Today's sponsored wig comes from EvenHairWig.com. This is a Brazilian curly glueless lace front wig. The packaging comes with eyelashes. Of course, their pamphlet displaying their different wig options, the information on their website and how to order their wigs, and also how to care for your wig once you receive the item. You also get a nail file and the wig is about 150% density. It's 14 inches. And again, the cap construction is a glueless lace front, meaning you do not have to use adhesive. And usually glueless lace front wigs are a little bit more snug. Uh, they're good for people that are actually allergic to the adhesive, any kind of wig adhesive. So you don't need that. And especially if you add an extra band, it'll fit pretty well and pretty taut so that you don't need any glue. This wig itself seems on the thinner side to me. It doesn't seem like it's 150% density. Um, I believe once I cut it, it'll give, um, you know, more, more volume and more um, of a thicker appearance so I'm just going to start by wetting the hair down just to activate those curls um, and this is of course after washing the wig and conditioning the wig Okay, so I just parted some baby hairs out. I'm not going to pluck them or razor them. I just want to lay them down. This wig is going to be used for one of my trickle telomania clients. Uh, she is a client that suffers from pulling of the hair and I do not want to do too much customizing to the wig until it's on her head. So I'm laying the baby hairs down and then I'm going to take a wrap, a rapid strip and then I'm going to place the wig underneath the dryer for about 20 minutes to let this dry. So again, this wig is super thin to me. So I'm just taking my shears and creating some layers in the back and on the sides, giving it some shape, some volume, and it's trying to create more of a, uh, I would say more volume, a, a thicker look to the wig. You know, with curly hair, you know, you, the more you scrunch it and um, the more that you even diffuse the hair, the curls will look more juicier and plump and, um, you know, I can even pick it up just to give it that volume, but we got to fix this thinning. I, I cannot stand a very, very thin wig. Of course you want it to look natural, but you don't want it to look like it's just, you know, already thin and not enough hair. So after I've added the shape or created the shape that I wanted, I'm adding some cream of nature, argon oil foam wrap, which is one of my fave products, as you know. And I'm just scrunching the wig to create more definition to the curls. And after I do this, I'm going to take my blow dryer and just diffuse the curls. So 
so this is the finished look after diffusing and picking and fluffing i like her she's cute she is very cute you can't even tell that it was super thin in the beginning i love the hairline of this wig and of course i added a band so that it fits even more secure on the head so i love it it blends very well to my skin tone and also to my client's skin tone we're about the same complexion so you guys make sure you like comment and share please let me know what you think this wig is super affordable and of course live life on purpose with purpose love you guys